drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! Uh, I just think all five pitches are working. So, um, you know, I think over the past couple of years, I've at any given point in the year, if I had three of them working, you know, and, and then been trying to find another one or two of them, but to have the curveball and the splitter being there for me, uh, I can attack the zone, you know. I don't have to be as fine because only one pitch is going over the plate for a strike. When you know you have a handful of pitches you can use, um, you attack the zone with them and, and, and bank on the fact that they're not going to guess right on, on the one that they're looking for. How long has it been since you felt that you could really have all five to lean on whenever you need to? Probably never. You know, uh, <laughs> Early in my career, I was a two-pitch guy. I was a fastball splitter guy and became a three-pitch guy when I uh, became a starter. and. Mixed in the slider, which was a good pitch for me, and then we just slowly added as the career's gone on. So, um, for me, it's more about the mechanics, not so much the pitches. Uh, I'm repeating my mechanics, which is allowing me to be in the zone and and have a good feel for all the pitches, and, and you know, know in your head where your hand needs to be in certain pitches and to get the results you want. But just being composed, um, it's always been a big problem for me. Just going out, and being too fired up, and and getting out of my uh, my rhythm. And I mean, you saw it there on the one guy I did walk. You know, it was right after the homer, and I wasn't too happy. And and so, you know, that, that right there is a good example to learn from that no matter what the situation is, you stay composed and trust your pitches, you're going to be all right.